Look, the idea that Nephi could have traveled to a lush, beautiful paradise in the deserts of the Arabian Peninsula would have been laughable in Joseph Smith's day. Yet if you follow the directions in Nephi's trail in the Book of Mormon, going directly east from Nahum, you end up in exactly the kind of place that Nephi describes as bountiful, and it also happens to be the perfect location for building a boat. Cor Carfot. In order for this to be the Book of Mormon's bountiful, it has to fulfill like 15 different requirements, and that is a tall order, but this place hits them all in the head. So it's east of Nahum, accessible from the desert trail, and in addition to needing food, water, vegetation, which Cor Carfot has abundantly, you need the materials to build a boat. You need ore and flint for tools, large timber for the boat itself, obviously a coast, and less obviously a sheltered inlet along the coast for safe construction. Check, check, check. The Book of Mormon talks about how Nephi went to the mountain to pray, Check. It also recounts how Laman and Lemuel wanted to end Nephi by casting him into the sea, and that's not exactly very threatening if they're just talking about, like, pushing him into a wave. But if they want to do a system off of a cliffside, now we're talking. Check. And it's implied that the area was uninhabited at the time, hence why Nephi needed to make his own tools and boat, and in the 6th century, Corcofoat was indeed uninhabited. It's absolutely gorgeous, and I think it's implausible that Joseph Smith could have guessed this exact location with all of the requirements exactly as they're described in the text. There's also another candidate for Bountiful a few miles away called Corrori, and if you're interested to learn about that, Read Book Mormon Evidence, Bountiful number 164.